The Indian Army's K9 Warriors are all set to receive lightweight bulletproof vests and smart collars. The fifth prototype of South Korea's KF-21 fighter jet that was slated for delivery to Indonesia, has been grounded in South Korea due to delayed payments by Indonesia. The RDO's Naval Science and Technological Laboratory has successfully tested the indigenous high endurance autonomous underwater vehicle in both surface and submerged condition in a lake environment, and the trials validated its advanced sonar systems and communication modules. A requirement for 484 light utility helicopters has been identified to replace the aging Jaytak and Cheetah helicopter fleets for the Army, Navy and the Air Force. The DRDO is looking to conduct mobility trials of the indigenous Tatran 1500 horsepower engine on board a June tank by end of 2025. Drone Yards Aerial Solutions has provided FPV drones and specialized training to the Indian Army. Bharat Dynamics Limited has said that the Druvastrul anti tank guided missile originally developed for the light combat helicopter program will also be integrated into the 22 Apache attack helicopters. The chairman of Solar Industries has said that it has successfully completed development of indigenous canister launched anti armor loitering munition. Experts have said that the local industry has the capability to develop modern air-launched nuclear missiles such as the French ASMP missile, for the Rafale and Su-30 aircraft. The head of L&T Defense has said that L&T alongside other major private sector partners like Tato Advanced Systems Mohindra Aerospace and Godrej Aerospace, has the capability to develop an indigenous 110 kN jet engine for the AMCA Untagious Mark II, leveraging lessons from the Cavalry Engine Program, provided the government prioritizes technical merit over the restrictive lowest bidder system, which is the practice of awarding contracts to the lowest bidder regardless of quality or innovation. With GTRE's workforce aging, and private sector aerospace engineering still nascent, the head of L&T Defense has called for a consortium to address this issue by mirroring global models like the Eurojet TJ200, but he stressed that the success hinges on government resolve. The Indian Air Force will receive its first fully operational Tejas Mark 1A aircraft by late April, and latest information suggests that it is undergoing extra firing and electronic warfare trials, to ensure it meets operational standards. Industry sources have said, that General Electric will deliver the second engine very soon, so that at least two aircraft can be handed over to the Air Force by late April. Recent photographs of a Su-30 pilot wearing a helmet donned with the Chinese Air Force roundel have ignited widespread speculation. A closer examination suggests this may be a deliberate move tied to simulation exercises, rather than a geopolitical statement. The pilot was part of a red team in a simulated air combat exercise, which represents the adversary in training exercises, which is a common practice in military training worldwide. The Indian Air Force could be replicating Chinese Air Force tactics, offering Indian pilots invaluable experience against its adversary. Today's Top 3 Comments Oh, Mark, dropped it.